Alright guys, so I was supposed to get this video out the other day when this news actually broke. Yeah, like two days ago, but in the live stream yesterday you guys reminded me about it. But here we are. Disney have put uh, the Star Wars, uh, a Star Wars story films. Uh, so, for example, the upcoming Boba Fett film, the upcoming Obi-Wan solo film, and any other goddamn nostalgia film that they're banking on. In what I've seen and put in the most beautiful term, they put it in carbonite for now. I love you. I know. It hasn't been completely suspended, but it's just been put on the back shelf because I think everyone knows if you if, if you kind of slightly look into uh, Star Wars or, you know, Disney, that there's a there's been a problem for the past few years. Um, not not necessarily since The Force Awakens, because that was the first film. But ever since then, you know, shit's been going down downhill uh, for a lot of people. And, and whether you love these films or not, that this is not. Uh, a part of what I'm talking about right now. It's just the fact that more now than ever, there has been a huge hit in the fandom. Uh, Disney were kind of ignoring that before. Uh, but now, I think with Solo, a Star Wars story, they're like, ah. Now, the thing is, I'm a bit mindfucked here because um, I definitely don't think that Disney should be banking on or what Kathleen Kennedy has kind of set out with all these projects. Uh, banking on nostalgia. What I mean by that is relying on old characters, old old kind of events from popular parts of the films where we grew up, you know, uh, you know, like how Rogue One was, you know, set in between episode three and four, uh, but more accurately, uh, a solo, a Star Wars story film, even though I really enjoyed that film, it's using a character that everyone loves, you know, Harrison Ford, and they're thinking that, oh yeah, that will make a load of money. What do you think? Well, what do you know? Now, the thing is, even though I say that, I was very much so looking forward to an Obi-Wan film. Maybe the way I should put it is just screw the Star Wars, a story film, banking on nostalgia, freaking Darth Maul, Boba Fett, whatever you want to say. As cool as you think, think those films will be, you kind of get what I mean if you know what I mean. If you don't, then fair enough, you want these films. But if you know where I'm coming with this, screw that for a second. But the one character who did deserve this, if they're putting all of this away uh, on carb in Carbonite, or if, let's say they were to get rid of it, let's assume that for a second, they weren't going to do the Boba Fett one, they weren't going to do any of those. The one character who does deserve this um, should be Obi-Wan Kenobi or Ben Kenobi, and fuck yeah, bring Ewan McGregor back for that role. Hello there. That's the one thing that I don't think would be a screw-up, whereas obviously milking Boba Fett, milking... Uh, Harrison Ford's solo, um, even though I thought that Alden Ehrenreich did a great job, that's just my opinion, but yeah, uh, yeah. Now, the thing is, everybody, that much of the blame is obviously being put on, um, Solo, the uh, Star Wars story films. We've already been over this, maybe you already know this before you came to this video. It tanked at the box office. I went to go and see it, but at the same time, I do understand why... I'm, I'm re this is the thing, I've got one for in, one for out defense, but why people wanted to boycott this, because... Uh, there's there's so many issues going on that Star Wars under Kathleen Kennedy's rule, but maybe it isn't 100% to blame on Solo a Star Wars Story, but also Kathleen Kennedy. And I have a separate video that I'm working on as to why I think the state of Star Wars at the minute it is a complete mess. Even though I'm a huge fan of uh, Daisy Ridley's uh, Rey, even though I think that she's got she hasn't had any development and things like that, I, I understand all perspectives. So I think Kathleen Kennedy does need to step down, um, and I think a lot of this. Even though it's been put in carbonite temporarily, uh, I think some of it will be coming back out once they've re-evaluated. I think it's abundantly obvious that Kathleen Kennedy will be stepping down in the next several months or whatever. Probably at the next Star Wars celebration, they might be uh, revealing that, okay guys, we are working on uh, the Obi-Wan a Star, Star Wars story or a Ben Kenobi that was set in between episode 3 and 4 on his time in ta on Tatooine. Maybe there's some other crap that they can put in there. Some really cool story points. I think everyone wants that. That's a film that fans have been asking for and we wouldn't mind. But then Disney uh, have been doing other things that fans haven't necessarily asked for, which was, you know, Solo, a Star Wars story. Uh, so you, you kind of get the problem here. But that is why I think once Kathleen Kennedy has stepped down, once they have re-evaluated, they've got a new you know, person to control everything with new creative vision, who isn't completely relying on old characters, old nostalgia, uh, and who isn't embarking on uh, and being brave uh, w with new stories. And yes, you could say, but what about what about the new trilogies and stuff? They could be set in uh, new new stories. Yes, they could, 
But at the same time, it's also an absolute nightmare that we got nine films, Ryan Johnson's trilogy, the, uh, the, oh my, my god, my, my brain's just gone uh, blank, but there's another trilogy from the Game of Thrones directors, the guys who, uh, the two guys who are doing that, and then we've got Boba Fett, potentially, uh, a freaking Obi-Wan film, and god knows what else they've got down the pipeline, a uh, goddamn fucking Jar Jar Binks film, I mean... A, so a Star Wars story. And I think this whole momentum has been brought up as well with the fact that The Last Jedi was the most- it, it literally, biblically split the fandom in the middle, like, you know, separating the seas, in, in a biblical reference. As much as I love The Last Jedi, honestly guys, I went to see that film freaking five times. I wouldn't have paid for that film five times if I didn't like it. Um, but through seeing it many times, through really looking at all the kind of uh, opinions and, and, and stuff with that film, there are some serious problems that have split the fandom. The general moviegoer didn't necessarily really enjoy that film, just to put it bluntly. Um, so, you know, after episode 7, everyone got hyped. Everyone who's a general moviegoer doesn't really know much about Star Wars. They were so hyped. So they, they were just like, oh my god, what's going on here? Uh, and then, could the complete vision change between directors in episode 7 and 8, JJ and Ryan, and the complete writing differences uh, was, was absolutely, it, it was like the equivalent of terraforming a, f a flipping planet, you know, changing it from freaking Earth to Krypton, if you know that reference. And I'm not going to explain all the reasons here, don't think that I'm hating on Star Wars, because I, as I said, I'm a huge fan, but if you know what I'm on about, even if you're, you don't necessarily agree with me, you know what I mean by the Luke Skywalker complete character change. It's only a movie. And if you think you're going to go into the movie and recapture your childhood, you're setting yourself up for disappointment. The 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 Snoke, uh, complete lackluster um, conclusion there. Um, and, and there's a billion other things in the film, um, unfortunately. But as much as I do love it, at the same time, I, I can't I can't negate those things from my mind. Uh, neither can a lot of the Star Wars fan base, and also Disney. If you criticise the goddamn film, either call you a white supremacist. Or, like, you can't handle strong females in power. So this is why it's not all to blame on Solo A Star Wars Story. And this is why a lot of people boycotted that film. And didn't go and see it. Weren't going to pay their money for it. Uh, they're, f they're throwing a load of SJW uh, shit in their films as well. Like, heavily. Why do films need this all the time now? I don't know, guys. This is just kind of me getting on a bit of a rant now. That's a little taster of my video to come. Uh, it's going to be a lot more organized and not, not like less spewy from the top of my head. Um, but yeah, interesting. Kenobi, uh, Boba Fett, and whatever other projects they had in development are completely, for now, scrapped. Kenobi, uh, rumoured, uh, but, you know, kind of reliably rumoured, sources say that it was in extremely early production. So the film was being worked on. It, it quite literally was being worked on. But now it's been practically shut down, and all they've got to concentrate on is Star Wars Episode Nine um, and the new trilogy, uh, which could be Ryan Johnson's or the other one, but I'm just fairly confident that they're gonna concentrate on Ryan Johnson's. It's just, it's just a mess, guys. Not to worry, we are still flying half a ship. The thing is, it was definitely the right decision to make. I definitely think they shouldn't make the Boba Fett film or anything like that right now. Uh, you know, and uh, concentrate on making Episode Nine good. Concentrate on if they have to freaking force out another trilogy, let alone the other one. Concentrate on making that goddamn good, not making the same same mistakes that you know you made with even announcing the solo film, um, and yeah, just get just uh, I don't know, maybe reevaluate getting get somebody to replace Kathleen Kennedy, which I think is going to happen, and then once they've got their like they've reloaded their revolvers, slapped it back up. That's when they're going to be like, right, okay, pew, pew, we're releasing the Obi Wan film, we're going to release this, uh, but like we're going to do it right, hopefully, but at the same time, I really wouldn't. I really, really wouldn't be surprised if they're still going to be kind of stubborn and not listen to the fans. Um, I don't know what to say. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. What do you think of Kenobi, a Star Wars story, even though that's not really the title, you know, I'm just saying that. Uh, Boba Fett and, and just projects like that being put on the back shelf, completely stopped in production and concentrating on just episode 9 and um, 
the new trilogy. Uh, what do you think of everything I've said? Other than that, guys, please like this video if you did enjoy it. It really helps uh, support the channel. Uh, comment on it. Let's really start a discussion. If you want to follow me on social media, links are on the screen. Expand that description box as always, guys. There's stuff in there. Uh, check out my Discord server. Check out my Patreon page. Of course, I want to say thanks to all my patrons. You guys seriously help fuel the content that I create on this channel. Uh, but other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Goodbye.